The FBI and CIA have been so cryptic on the alleged Russian hacking that a journalist had to take matters into his own hands, now forced to use the power of the courts to order them to do their jobs and provide actual evidence. Journalist Jason Leopold and Ph.D. candidate Ryan Shapiro teamed up to sue the U.S. intelligence community for failing to respond to a Freedom of Information Act request for information on the alleged Russian interference in the 2016 elections. The expedited FOIA request was made on December 15th, and the Justice Department and CIA are both required to inform requesters within 10 days of whether they have been granted that expedited processing. After no response, Leopold and Shapiro filed a lawsuit against the intel community. Here's what they want to know. They ask for information on requests any electoral college members may have made regarding a connection between the Trump campaign and Russia. They also request information on communications from Congress, the DNC, RNC, as well as the Trump and Clinton campaigns that discussed Russian-directed interference with the U.S. 2016 elections. They also want to know about entities who mentioned things like CrowdStrike, Cozy Bear, and specific IP addresses. And they also want to see agency-wide emails mentioning the agency's actions or position when it comes to the alleged Russian hacks. The CIA has been the most outspoken about the alleged hacks. They say Russia did interfere in the election and that Moscow intended to manipulate the election with the intent of backing President-elect Donald Trump. Yet the CIA and entire intel community has yet to come forward with any evidence. The agencies say it's too dangerous to reveal their sources and methods, but somehow that very information has been leaked to outlets like the Washington Post in the form of secret CIA assessments. Now journalists are tasked with making the intelligence community cough up the evidence. But under current administration rules, Russia is guilty until proven innocent. Shapiro and attorney Jeffrey Light are paying for the lawsuit with an ongoing crowdfunding campaign. It's called Operation 45, and it also seeks transparency and accountability for the incoming Trump administration. To donate to the cause, you can visit GoFundMe.com slash Operation 45. A new report by The Intercept published comments from whistleblower Edward Snowden confirming that the NSA does have the capability to provide evidence of Russian hacking. The NSA has yet to cough up any of that evidence, and that's what many are calling on them to do.